I'm looking all crazy. I have my 24 hour eyeliner and the 24 hours is about up. <laughs> yeah. Got my little plait twist tucked into my cap. And I'm currently making myself some Callaloo and e eggs. And I feel like using a third egg, but I'm putting it on a sandwich, so it'll be plenty. So turn the fire off. I generally don't eat the stems from Callaloo because so much produce comes from the actual leaf that there's no need for that. They're edible, and you'll notice that when people when people cook the main stem, they'll actually peel the stripping from around the edges. I don't have my toast on on dark enough. I bet y'all I noticed that the last time I did a video. I was like, they probably like that toast ain't even toast. Raw, it's raw white bread. Not that there's anything wrong with raw white bread, right? That, that shit makes a good sandwich. Y'all gonna act like we didn't do bologna. Although now we realize what all those extremists were talking about when they were saying it's poison. Poison made for the for us. <laughs> and now they spent the last decade or two slowly transitioning the actual food into modified food. This is Callaloo, tomato, and egg. I'm using the booty pieces of bread because it's time for me to take out another one. Oh, and the tomato I used was. Mm -hmm. was well, obviously garden tomatoes <clears throat> but look what I did you start doing creative shit when you start growing your fruit <laughs> your food so yeah I just took some old pickle juice and I poked holes those are two little black black cherry tomatoes right there so I uh, took the tomatoes poked a hole and one, one side here and then the other side. So there are four holes in it for the for the uh, brine to penetrate. So on the outside, obviously it tastes like pickle juice. I wanted to see what it looked like in the tomatoes. And what made me do this is a, a few years ago, I made refrigerated pickles. And before I finished making them, I had accidentally added tomatoes in there because I, th I didn't realize you shouldn't. But even as I was making it, I was like, Pickled tomatoes, it seemed like that would get, seemed like the flesh would get soggy, right? And brine. And it did, but it was delicious, right? So I was like, it was delicious. So I was like, well, let me next, let me next time, which I never did do the next year. I said, like, next time, let me get the cherry tomatoes and, you know, just put them in a brine and see how that works. Well, I did that and... There was pickle juice on the outside, but it just tastes like a cherry tomato <laughs> when you ate the actual tomato. So I was like, let me stick these holes in there to get it to infuse. And I did. And they actually came out pretty decent. Mm. Came out pretty decent. They're good. Even better in dishes. But... One way or another, this is an excellent way for me to preserve my cherry tomatoes. You know, when I have an overabundance of cherry tomatoes, I can get a big ass, excuse me, a big ass jar, put the tomatoes in it, and and put the brine on top. I'm trying to get one of these black cherry tomatoes so I can see what they taste like in the brine. So here's the black cherry tomato. They're also good. I need to be watering the garden while I do this. But in general, what I've been doing is after I squeeze the uh, tomatoes up there, you see they've all been squeezed. 
and smushed. Once I squeeze, take the seeds, I put them in a freezer bag. And then when I get ready to use or cook with some, I bring out a little snack pack at a time. And I'll use, and these will be the tomatoes that I cook with for the week. So there, I got a big bag of the tomatoes. I have some here just cause they, I have some black, the black ones in here. So I have a bag of uh, red cherry tomatoes and then I'll have a bag of the black cherry tomatoes. I do have a couple of red ones in there. Cause I stuck them in there before I re realized I wanted to keep them separate for flavor profile reasons. Oh, matter of fact, I need to go harvest some um, more black tomatoes. I'm actually going to not poke the holes in them, but I am going to keep them in brine because that's the easy, that's the most simplified way for me to have for uh, have and use fresh tomatoes in my cooking throughout the summer. So I can just go here and get them, or I can get them out the freezer too. Never mind any of that. This was just a good control experience. <laughs> a good control experiment to know what they taste like in brine. Because I'm just going to keep them in the, in the freezer and take them out and cut them and use them as I have been. I've, I've just been getting a tomato and cutting it, cutting it in strips. I keep taking this back out without biting it because I'm like, do I, want, do I want to collect these seeds or don't I? This is one tomato. I got plenty more. Speaking of plenty more, didn't I just say I was going to need to go harvest? I need to water first. I'm going to go water and harvest. Help cover my booty and my boobies. Because it's got a shelf bra. Y'all know my, my tanks have shelf bra. But it looks like a camisole, so the best, the best will help me help me not look like I'm going out there straight up naked. And I've rolled up my yoga pants so I don't get them wet and muddy. Mary, and I'm rocking everybody's favorite uncle, uncle ankles. Ah, ooh, the minor cankles. I don't need my water upstairs, God darn it. Okay. I'll talk y'all in a few. I'm finna go harvest some tomatoes. I might have one or two cucumbers ready too. And I'm gonna see what the Callaloo is doing. Cause I did what I do. I harvest the uh, flowering seed heads of my Callaloo. This is a trip because I've always known Callaloo seeds to be, to be black. But I see these fat dog, it, these grain looking ass things. And I'm like, what's well, good? I'm taking the leaves off. So boom. I don't bother to eat the leaves that I fucked around and let go wilted. Cause there's more. I just, I need to, when it comes to that stuff, I need to stop trying to be the maximum minimalist and just do what goddess has taught me to do with those things. Nice. Bet you never seen Callaloo, Callaloo seed earrings, Callaloo flowers, earrings. I'm fancy, I'm fancy, I'm fancy, I'm fancy. So yeah. Dry those out. It's a shame I only have those two for as many callaloo plants as I generally have. But I've stuck several cuttings into the ground next to the two plants that I got those from, so we'll be good. I either have glasses everywhere or I can't find glasses. What the hell?